DCS monitor setup for combined monitor setups is a sub-feature of DCS monitor setup. You should have viewed the video on DCS monitor setup or be familiar with that feature before watching this video. Here we are again in the profile editor. This time um, we're in the A10 profile uh, by Captain Zine. Uh, it also has uh, been upgraded to add viewports. Now you'll see that these viewport names, if you look at them carefully, you'll see that their names are not just left MFCD, for example. The viewport name here is A10C left MFCD, which means that it is a unique name just for this aircraft and does not collide with the left MFCD that we uh, configured for the F18 profile in the last video. And that means that uh, these viewports can coexist in the same monitor setup file. They don't have to have the same positions on the screen because they have different names. Um, this works because uh, we have modded all of the DCS viewports uh, to have unique names by aircraft. How we do that part uh, is a subject of an additional video. But in this video, we know we've already done that. We've got the profile and uh, now we're going to make a monitor setup for it. So our monitor setup is, is red because we haven't done it. Um, so let's go there. So here is the monitor setup. Um, all the settings carried over from our previous section uh, session. Sorry. Um, obviously, the selection of which screen is my main monitor and so on is local to the machine and is st stored in Helios settings. It is not part of the profile. So that's already been done. Um, here are the profiles on my secondary screen. Um, because you know of where I've reset uh, monitors to, I put the um, the controls on the same screen that I use for my other profile, and so it has different viewports than we previously had. Now down here in the uh, uh, combined section of monitor setup, we see two profiles: the F18 we configured last time and the A10 that we configured this time. Um, there are no error messages or anything. Uh, we're just going to hit configure and see if it works. Now ignore the status uh, of the profile interface being orange. This is actually um, an early version of the A10 profile. Um, specifically, it's the one that people have been using for years with 1.4 and it actually has some uh, broken image paths in it, but Helios never knew noticed that before. <laughs> and uh, those are now warnings, so they're in here. Uh, but they'll be fixed when uh, Captain Zine releases a patch for that or a new version of that profile. So that has nothing to do with this session. Um, the monitor setup now, the status is as green as before. Uh, we still set uh, the monitors to Helios and we set the resolution as before. The details now, it shows, you know, all of the viewports, including all of the viewports for the F-18 have been configured. So if you share your um, your uh, detailed status with a technical person or with a bug report, all of that information will be in there. So you don't have to answer a bunch of questions. Um, usually you don't need to look at it though. Uh, the one things you need to look at is these three action items, right? These three um, re reminders or recommendations that tell you you have to manually do something. Don't mess up the viewport mods, set the resolution, set the monitors. Now, because we have one monitor file for both of these profiles, that means that we configure DCS once. And if we're in a multiplayer mission and we switch from an A10 to an F18, we can switch Helios profile uh, to the, the other aircraft and not have to reconfigure DCS for a different monitor setup because all of the viewports from both profiles are in the same monitor setup file because they have unique names. Okay, so pretty good. We have a profile. Everything's great. Now, what happens if you have a legacy profile that doesn't use uh, um, that doesn't use the unique names, or you have another profile for the A10, and it just puts the MFDs in different places? I have here a synthetic example, a you know a conflict, right? So this file uses the same A10. Uh, viewport but in a different location right I just you know put it somewhere else so when I go to monitor setup what it says is this conflicts this viewport uh, sorry this profile that we're in conflicts with the a10 
uh, profile we configured earlier, because it has the same viewport in a different location, obviously you can't generate a monitor setup file that has the same named viewport in two different locations. So it gets automatically put down into this separate section. And what that means is, yes, you can still configure a monitor setup, but this monitor setup is going to be called H for Helios underscore two viewports conflict, because that's the name of the profile. And it will be separate from the Helios monitor setup. So to use this profile that can't be compatible, you would have to switch your monitor setup and you will have to switch your monitor setup when you change to this airplane's profile. Not a great result, but that's the best you can do in this situation, right? It will let you configure it. It still says it conflicts. That's why you can't put it up in the other section. I mean, if you do, you can tell it to ignore the errors and you're going to get some weird results, but you know, you can move it up into the section and you know, invalidate your config and it won't work right because it, it will actually only generate those A10 viewports once. Uh, and it'll give you a warning if you configure that. You can still do it if you know exactly what you're doing and you have some other reason why you want to do that. But normally you put it in the separate section and in fact now everything, we don't have to reconfigure because it just checked all the files and they're already in that state because we just generated it. Now we have an additional recommendation. Now it says you will need to switch monitors in DCS when you switch profile. And that is because the current profile is not part of the one combined Helios monitor setup. Normally, people have profiles only with unique names of viewports if they have this kind of setup. And we're going to work on all the Captain Zine profiles to make sure, and you know, mostly he's doing that, uh, to make sure they all have unique names. And Helios will make sure that we patch all of the viewports so that they have unique names, so that all the profiles that people actually use together can play together in a single setup. Because a, a big part of um, Helios 1.6 is that it's supposed to be painless to switch aircraft uh, in a multiplayer mission that has multiple aircraft types in it. Okay, so that's uh, that's a combined setup. We've demonstrated we can do one monitor setup for uh, the F-18 and the A-10 profile, and we've shown in a synthetic example that if you have another profile that doesn't play nice, you can still generate a monitor setup for it. It'll just have to be separate. Um, this trash can button says discard the state. I mean, I think there's a, a tooltip for it. Maybe not. Uh, should have been a tooltip for it. Uh, but basically what that button does is it just throws away the monitor setup information. It doesn't actually delete the monitor setup. It just removes it from this list in case you have a bunch of old profiles and they're all showing up down in this section. We've isolated them. You can delete them. You're not going to lose anything. Um, it just means that if you wanted to regenerate their monitor setup, you have to hit the config button again. Um, but in this case, this synthetic example, I don't want to see it again. So, uh, can I delete it? Oh, I can't because it's the current one. Sorry. You can only delete it if, uh, that's why it's in bold here. It says this is the entry for thing. Um, uh, this is technically a bug. This, um, this, uh, trash can doesn't belong here. Uh, I'll be fixing that before release. But let uh, if we are in another profile, um, I'm going to not save. I don't want to save this nonsense. Uh, but if we're configuring, you know, the A10 again, um, see now it has a, it's enabled and it has a tooltip. But it shouldn't have even been shown because you can't actually click on it. Uh, but, you know, we can discard this if we don't want to see it again because it's, it's, it's just junk um, from an old profile or from a test profile in this case.